Hey guys, okay, so today I wanted to come on and do a little nail tutorial for you guys because I'm just trying to get back into the nails and we have some deep end nail polishes here we have a white, we have a black, we have a top coat and then I have a nail finity by Max Factor in like shiny red. Um, yeah, and hang on, I'm gonna have to find one more. Yeah. Ooh, this is hard. I'm just gonna have to check that it's going to work. Yes, it is. Okay, so I'm taking this pinkish color. This is by H and M, and it's basically coral. Um, I just need a teeny tiny bit of that one. So I have already prepped my nails. I have put pink on all the nails that are going to have full on pink and I have put a base coat on my ring finger so let's just get started and this is for putting my polish on when I am going to be using these these are not nail art um, pencils or dotting tool this dotting tool is actually for my crafting but I'm using it and these pencils are kids paint pencils so yeah it's all you can get here if you don't want to pay a fortune so let's just get started first off I'm going to take this white and I am going to make like a half moon kind of shape with my white on the tip of my ring finger and I'm going to fix it in the next round with the yellow pencil um, yeah. I'm going to do the same on this one if I can Fingers crossed. No, Lily, don't cross your fingers when you're painting your nails. And I'm basically shaking like a leaf doing this side. But it's okay. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. I'm sorry, you guys. And there is going to be a clean up on this. Um, yeah definitely oh and while I'm doing the white duh I am being so all over the place I'm just dotting a little dot of white right there and now taking my dotting tool stay dotting tool and I'm using the bigger side and basically just And I am being a random, or at least trying to be, which isn't working, but yeah. Hoping I'm not too much out of frame because I'm watching my nails instead of the camera. But yeah, like so. That was one hand. Now not to place my. Oh, I have a long strand of here. It is so difficult doing it 
this side. But I'm sort of getting it done. I don't care if it's not perfect. Because it is done by me. So it's all good. And I gotta say, I am so sad today because I have like 20, 30 nail polishes by Depend. And they're all ruined. They are like glue. They're so thick. And I don't know why. It just seems all my polishes go that way. I was so lucky to find these and they weren't spoilt because they'd never been opened. I was really happy with that. Like so. Now just going to wipe off that dotting tool again like so okay now I'm gonna check what yes it is dry enough putting glob down to like so. And I'm not putting it on top of the other one, basically because that one is already starting to harden up. Stay, I said. Okay, now just going to fix up this. And you can't like um, keep moving over the same space for too much because nail polish will dissolve other nail polish so you're gonna basically just have to dot around till you have the look you are looking for so I'm gonna be pleased with that one like so and now I'm going to attempt my other hand I have to move these out of the way I'm a little bit all over the place I'm really sorry but yeah oops I'm sorry did not mean to bump the can Like so, I think you know we have a little spot right there. Like so, okay, that's good enough for me. Now I'm just gonna have to wipe off the pencil because I have no nail polish remover, so I'm gonna have to clean it afterwards. But that's okay. So there we go. You can see there are some cleanup needed on both nails, but it's okay. Putting the white one away, because I'm done with that now. We're going to use the dotting tool and the blue uh, pencil. Is it called the pencil? Probably not. I don't know but first off I need to shake this one up a little bit now I'm just going to put a little glob of this one right there because I don't need much 
like so. Put that one away. Taking my dying tool on the biggest side. I'm just placing a dot right there. Same thing on the other hand, right there, like so. Wiping that pink off. Now, hang on, sorry. Taking the black, putting a glob of black. So now, still bigger side, we are going to go neat. And now you can see what I'm doing. Well, if you didn't see it in the title. And this one always looks worse for me. Practice makes perfect, to say. But yeah. So. Okay. Now taking the pencil. Whoops. And I'm just dipping the tip in. And going. One, two, three. Three, and it's not perfect, I know. One, two, three. Like so. It looks silly. But hey, it is done by me. So yeah, it's all good. One, two. Oh my god, I'm shaking so badly. And then... Three. I seriously need some better pencils for sure but hey this is what I got to work with so yeah and now taking this red shaking it up a little bit and putting a glob down and I can see this is a little bit thick but hopefully it will work for me no matter what and I am just going to put like so It's not the best Hello Kitty, but it is mine. I kind of love doing things like this and I really want to learn to do more. But it's so much easier doing it on somebody else. But yeah. So there you go, my Hello Kitty nails. Not perfect, but they done by me. So I really hope you liked it. And bye. See you soon.